What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been like a very long time since I've posted even like a new video. I don't even remember the last time I posted a new video. But today, we're going to take it back to our roots. We're going to be talking about the thing that kind of set it all off for me and the whole my whole YouTube journey, so to speak, uh, even though it hasn't been much of a journey. That's men's fashion. I want to show you guys some of the things that I've been picking up over the last few months uh, as I've like moved. Spoiler alert, new apartment, new me. Uh, but I've also moved to another state. I'm in Florida, not Illinois. I'm not in Chicago anymore. I'm in West Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, and obviously it's kind of like changed a little bit of the things that I'm buying because the weather is like very different here. So I wanted to give you a breakdown of those handful of things that I've been picking up and kind of give you some of the styling tips, some of the ideas I had for styling. So I want to show you a little bit of that. So if you like what it is that I'm doing here, please like click that subscribe button and click that little bell notification to know when I drop a new video because they're so few and far between. You never know. It might be two more years before you see me again, but hopefully it won't be like that again. Anyway, we're going to break it down. It's going to go tops bottoms uh and then shoes so in the order that they appear on the body and there will be like some overlap between like the the style so you may see like a, a pair of shoes you know mixed in with like a top or whatever but we will go back and kind of talk about those in a little bit more detail and give them their own individual styling kind of portion so you can kind of see what i'm thinking as it pertains to that individual item even if it does work with another item that i'm showing because without further ado let's talk about the tops that i picked up so tops in general are the hardest thing for me to find um i'm about five seven and a half a little over 200 pounds so i'm a little short a little stocky a lot of times it's hard for me to find stuff that's like the right length or the right cut. But I did pick up some, some tops actually from the women's department, which is a really big tip that I can give you when you're shopping. Always check the women's department. A lot of times in your H&Ms, your Zara's, your, you know, whatever, women's shirts will come oversized in like really fun kind of like fabrics and patterns and stuff that easily mix into like that experimental fashion realm. And I'm actually going to show you a couple things that I got from H&M that fit incredibly. And they are like a little bit long, a little oversized, uh, but the look is absolutely perfect. So the first thing that I really want to talk about is this H&M uh, pattern shirt, polyester pattern shirts. This particular one uh, is actually kind of got that like rayon or uh lyocell feel really really drapey really flowy very light very comfortable it's like just immediately drawn to the pattern of this shirt which appears to be kind of asian inspired uh and then i could tell it was like cut a little bit long and a little oversized and i really loved to kind of like the cut for me in the side like the like how the sides kind of like are cut a little bit higher even though the shirt is cut long i just love the way the fabric like laid on my body it's got kind of like this really nice drop shoulder and like i said the fabric is like very light and breathable and i live in south florida now so it often gets hot but for this particular shirt i actually feel very comfortable in it all day usually i open up a, a couple of buttons and just like let it flow but i usually don't roll up the sleeves or anything because it's just so light on the body now, initially, when I bought the shirt, I bought it in an extra large, thinking it would be like a little tight across the chest or the shoulders, as oftentimes I find even with oversized women's shirts, they are usually cut a little trimmer in the chest and a little um, shorter in the shoulders. But this was actually cut almost like a men's shirt, honestly, like an oversized men's shirt. I mean, it was like perfect in the large it was very, very big in the XL when I tried it on, but perfect in the large laid just immaculate on the body honestly i get like so many compliments on this shirt it's ridiculous now for styling with this look i went with my dolce and gabbana uh virgin wool trousers and black which i picked up from a thrift store here in west palm beach they're super long and i actually need to get them hemmed if you can't tell but i really do like the way the stacking looks on these really high waisted and relaxed in the leg but they still have a structure look that balances well with the flow of the shirt they really like really elevate the look but then it's balanced out by like the ramones on the bottom which the ramones are also actually new and we'll talk about those a little bit later uh in the video so in addition to the other oversized women's shirt that i picked up from h&m i also picked up this cotton white one with the big pocket on the front now i picked this one up for some of the same reasons that i picked up the polyester one the printed one I needed a white shirt. I needed it in a pinch. It was 25 bucks, so why not? Now, 
since this one is cotton, it's not quite as light and airy as the printed one, but I do still love the oversized cut and just the simple pocket detail on the front. It's your essential white shirt, but just dialed up a notch. For sizing, once again, I went with the large, which was the perfect fit throughout. Now for styling, I decided to go with these black and white pinstripe Versace collection trousers. I think they're actually women's as well, but they fit perfectly in the waist and in the inseam. I paired them with my Rick Owens Birkenstocks, which feature this iridescent black shimmer finish. The look is light and breezy for those warm SoFlo days when I want to look effortlessly put together. So the next piece is this class by Roberto Cavalli tie-dye button-down shirt. I picked this up actually from the real real and I wasn't entirely sure how it would fit, but based on the measurements and my overall experience was with purchasing shirts like this, I figured, you know, the size that it came in, which was an extra large, would be good. The cut is better than expected and I love the length. It's actually a little shorter in the body uh, than I expected. I thought it was going to come in and be super long like most extra large button-down shirts are. I was a little disappointed with the color at first, but it has grown on me a lot. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit more faded black, but it's actually kind of a grayish blue color, and I think it makes it stand out a little bit more. And I got it for pretty cheap. It was less than $50. For styling, I wanted to do something fun and playful with this shirt, but since the shirt features a nice tie-dye, I wanted to make it look a little resortish, so I paired it with these black Bonobos rec shorts and my custom hand-painted Dr. Martin's 1461s, which I painted myself. The shorts are really, really short, so I balanced out the leg space with these Doc Martens long socks. Uh, I just viewed this look kind of as a intermediary look, like I can wear it to the beach, but I can also wear it like in the streets, just to take the shoes or the socks off, and boom, you got a beach look. You leave the beach, you put your long socks back on and your Doc Martens, and boom, you're going to dinner. It's very, very versatile. So now let's move on to one of my favorite sections, which is the bottoms. Pants, always my favorite thing to buy. I love looking for like interesting pants, something cool to put on, something that has really nice details. I was really into printed Levi's for a long time. I still am actually, I love the Levi's collaborations, but I am kind of like trimming down my collection a little bit and trying to focus a little bit more on like design bottoms, like not necessarily designer, but bottoms that have like interesting design details, not just like leaning in on like a gimmick or, you know, whatever, but something that's like almost functional in, in the design element, like cargo pockets or zippers on the side, like that kind of stuff. Speaking of which, the first pair I picked up was this Hudson and Brian Williams collaboration, Jack Kick Flare Jeans. Now, Brian Williams is a celebrity stylist, works with a lot of NBA players, for example, which you will see in this particular collection. A lot of the names have names after like NBA clients of his or like, teams, like that kind of thing. Colorways are kind of like named after teams. It's actually a really, really cool concept in my opinion. Thought these were really cool. They really fit the bill. They're visually interesting. They're very comfortable. Have that nice flare kind of look to them, that convertible flare look to them, which I think is really, really, really cool. In fact, that was the thing that really drew me into it. I don't love the buckle on the side. I think that's a little bit unnecessary. Maybe that was like something they were trying to do to differentiate themselves from all of the rest of the like zip flare style pants. But I bought them specifically for the zip flare. My favorite pair of pants that I've had over these years is this kind of drop crotch helmet lang uh, zip, wax zip bottom pants. I just think they're so cool. I just recently ripped them and I wanted to replace them with something. When I saw these on Saks Fifth Avenue's website, I was like, oh yeah, that's the ones that I need. So I did end up picking them up. Tried them on, I got a 33 at first, which is what I would usually get. 33 was a little bit big. So I decided to go down to the 32, which fits perfect. Really kind of slim in the thighs, not too slim, not too tight. Like I can breathe, my waist is fine. There's actually a little bit of room in the waist. And then just like a nice trim fit through the thigh, which kind of comes out to a flare at the bottom. I don't know if I would ever rock these like zipped up at the bottom, to be completely honest. I think they look their best flared, but I do love the flat fact that I can kind of adjust the flare as I go. So for styling on these guys, uh, I decided to grab this old Oak and Fort jacket that I have, which is kind of a cargo-ish jacket. I don't even know what the inspiration for it is, but it is a really, really cool jacket that I kind of go back to all the time because I think it can really make any outfit look a little more interesting. And I paired it with this old t-shirt that I got from this sponsored 
for a local party back in Chicago in 2016. Uh, it's a little Uzi Vert and Metro Boomin, and I forgot who the other person is on it. Uh, but it is a really cool kind of almost old rap tea inspired look. The jeans gave me off that like rock star vibe. So I wanted to kind of lean into it a little bit with like the band tee, so to speak. And then I finished it off once again with the license plate Ramones. I thought they were the absolute perfect thing to pair them with since the jeans are so long. Um, it just kind of helped cover up some of that space, keep them from dragging too far on the floor since the sole is a little bit thicker than your standard chuck and they're a little bit wider and a little more chunky, which I thought was also the appropriate look for a jean like this. For our next pair, I have these Rick Owens Virgin Wool Crop Trousers. Now, I love Rick Owens. I picked up quite a bit of Rick. A lot of the stuff you're gonna see in the latter part of this video, spoiler, it's shoes, are Rick. But I'm not gonna pretend that I'm an archive god at all. Not sure what series season they come from, but what I do know is that they are glorious. I love the high waist. I love the fact that they have a really high crop. They're made out of virgin wool with a henna stretch, so they are very light and breathable. They also have a really kind of low drop crotch, not quite like a pod drop crotch, but a really noticeable drop crotch. And they are a little tight at my calves, so I rolled them just a little bit at the bottom to give them a fine look, because there's a fine line between these looking like, like wool dress trousers and looking like sweatpants. <laughs> So I am like currently looking for a blazer in a similar fabric, black as well, to kind of pair with them just to make them look cool. Maybe some stretch calf boots too would look really nice with these. So for styling, I wanted to show off the high waist, so I styled this with one of my Bonobos camp collar shirts. I really love like the fun print on this shirt. I live in South Florida now, so it's permanent vacation vibes all year round. It's also a little unexpected instead of me just trying to emulate the typical rig vibes, you know, black shirt, heavy hardware, you know, something crazy like that. Went with something a little bit more traditional, just something you could grab off the rack and emulate yourself with like a Hawaiian shirt or something like that. Also threw this Bloomingdale's Merino wool vest on top to give it like some depth, you know, and kind of tone the pattern down a little bit. Um, and I also love layering, and this is an easy layer to put on, even on a hot day, because it's, you know, it's a vest, so to speak. For the next pair, I picked up these Rick Owens Gethsemane Fall Winter 21 Bella Shorts. Never thought I'd be back in a long shorts, not in a million years. These Rick Owens Bella Shorts have quickly become a favorite in my wardrobe. The fabric is heavy, but surprisingly comfortable on a hot day. The heavy metal zipper at the crotch combined with the hardware on the side creates a simple but visually interesting look. At first, I was a little intimidated by the look. I still have flashbacks of my denim capri days of my youth. Yes, I wore denim capris back in the early 2000s. It was a thing. Trust me, it was a thing. Either way, these uh, Bella trousers look beautiful and premium from a distance and they turned out to be pretty versatile to style. Speaking of styling, I paired these with this beautiful Planet Hollywood shirt I've had for a few years now. The pattern, the cut, and the fabric were exactly what I was looking for in a shirt and I actually thrifted the shirt and I actually sold this shirt one time on Depop but the sale kind of fell through and I'm kind of glad that it did because I kind of fell in love with this shirt again after that. Uh, it paired really nicely with these long shorts, hit just in the right spot to show off the hardware. And then I finished the look off with these Dark Shadow uh, X Converse Turbo Weapons, which we will actually talk about a little, in a little more detail later on in the video. For the last pair of pants, I have, yes, a pair of cargo pants, but not any pair of cargo pants. These are Neil Barrett cotton cargo pants. Uh, and I found these at a Nordstrom Rack for... Pff, hundred bucks maybe. I had to marinate on it for a few days before I committed to them though. I, I actually went back, I, I found them one day, then I went back a few days later and I like tried them on and then I left. And then I went back a few days later and they were on clearance and they had clear the racks and I tried them on again and I asked did I look ridiculous in them. And they were like, nah, they actually look good. So I ended up copping them. And then I sat on them for a few days before I put them on. I was like, should I even keep these? And the reason why I was like, should I keep these? Though they're very luxurious and the cotton is really heavy, really premium, really nice. 
They're two sizes too big for me. I think they are 54 and I need, you know, a 48 or 50 at most. But what sold me on them was the cuff at the bottom. The perfect cuff, the perfect length, the perfect width, two buttons, easily tapered, just makes them sit really nice at the top of just about any pair of shoes, even if the leg is a little baggy, which I actually kind of love about them that they do have like this really just wide leg. And I know that if I if I would have gotten my actual size, the legs actually would have probably been kind of trim, not skinny, but just trim. And it's it's not the same look as they have right now, which is hard to explain, but real ones out there get it. You know exactly what it is I'm talking about. So what I'm thinking about doing is just taking them to the tailor and getting the waist taken in a little bit. For styling, what we decided to do was to balance out the wide cut of the cargos, pairing them with like an oversized white rugby shirt, which I picked up from Buck Mason. Now, these two things have a little something in common. They're both two sizes bigger than me. I would normally wear a large in a shirt, but I actually got this one in 2X because I wanted it to be kind of oversized. And it actually worked based on the way this shirt is cut. The fabric on the shirt is a little bit thicker, so this is probably more of a spring or fall look. Definitely not so much a South Florida look, but we do have our days when it's a little bit chilly, so I can kind of get away with this, especially in the evening. Very simple look, uh, very easy look, which I paired with my Rick Owens abstract in the black denim foil just to give it like that combat boot look. So it looks very like pseudo military. Really love this look. This is actually my favorite look that I put together. It's so simple, but it's so clean, very minimal, but just the proportions are absolutely perfect. So one of my favorite outfits I put together for styling for this, honestly, and I haven't worn this Bug Nation shirt yet. So gave me an excuse to wear it. As you can see, little wardrobe change, little kind of background changed. Uh, in, in the time that I've been filming this video, I actually kind of switched up my workstation. And instead of like re-recording the whole thing, I figured we would just pick up and I would do a slight explanation as to why things have changed. Anyway, moving on. Now it's time to talk about shoes, which if you've been following me, if you've watched any of my old videos, you know that is always like the highlight of any of my pickup videos because I love me some shoes. For our first pair, we're gonna talk about this Converse and Rick Owens collab, the Converse Rick Owens Dark Shadow Turbo Weapon, which is a lot, and I know I said Converse and Rick Owens way more times than I probably should have. But anyway, let's talk about this shoe. First of all, it is the classic Converse Weapon known to be worn by NBA legends such as Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. Put on this thick, chunky, stacked sole which is super duper heavy given this elongated tongue much like on your your geo basket basket style from rick and it just creates this monster silhouette which is super cool now i'm gonna be honest with you all when they first dropped i was lukewarm on them not because i didn't like the silhouette i actually did think they were cool and i was more interested in those than i uh, was interested in the chuck taylor's but they were all black and I was like, I, I can't do another just all black shoe. Even though they had the milk sole, I wanted something maybe in like that milk color or something with that like kind of stood out, had a little bit of pop. So some months went by and I started watching a lot of YouTube videos on these shoes, just trying to get a sense of like the fit and how they looked and like styling and stuff like that. After I watched a few videos, a shout out to pretty much anybody who made a video on these shoes, cause I can promise you I watched your video more than one time. I was like, you know what? I, I might give these a chance. And the thing that really got me was the lace swap. They come with two sets of laces, black and like an off white, white color. I saw people putting the white ones in and I was like, oh, this makes them look a whole lot better. Just gives them that little bit of pop, like balanced pop that they need it. So I was like, okay, let's pull the trigger. Found a pair on eBay for a pretty good price, copped them and I love them. Like wear them 
all of the time. And there was another thing that someone said about them that really stood out to me. Shout out to whoever said this. They said they were like the new Mastodon. And I was like, perfect. The Mastodon is one of my favorite pair of Rick collab shoes, the ones from Adidas. The first ones, not not the second ones. And I'll put a picture of myself uh, wearing them up uh, to the side here. But I, I used to love, I used to wear them all of the time, but I did end up selling them at some point in time. And I've always wanted another pair, but they're so hard to find and usually they're super expensive. But these retail for $200 and they actually recently dropped two new colorways, which I bought one of which. It came in that milk color that I really, really wanted and really coveted, so I'm super excited to get those. Since you've already seen me wear them with the Bella Pod shorts, I wanted to pair them with a pair of pants. So I slapped on these Levi's straight leg chinos that I picked up a little while ago. They have a little bit of a crop on them, so you can see them floating right over the top of the shoe. I kind of cuffed them a little bit. I love this shoe with a kind of straight or a wider leg pant especially with like a little bit of a crop on it i love showing the tongue but i think wearing it like this really just makes the silhouette stand out and say okay what what are these shoes like what, what's this really chunky heavy platform shoe it just really puts the focus on the silhouette whereas i think when you wear it with something a little bit skinnier or with shorts it kind of makes the tongue stand out and i and I, know, I like that look too obviously um as i did it with the bella pods but I think with like jeans or a, a long pant, I think it just looks really good with like that wide legged cropped look. And I save the classic, cause I'm not gonna necessarily say best, but I save the classic for last, these Rick Owens Dark Shadow Ramones High with the little license plate on the back. I picked these up fairly recently uh, within the last few months. And as you can see, I've worn the crap out of them already. I'm definitely gonna beat these to the ground. I've wanted a pair of Ramones for a long time and I know these are like the classic basic bitch, my first Rick Owen shoes, but I don't care. Ramones are classic and they go with everything. You can rock them with pretty much everything. They are so effortless that I was like, you know what? Like these are gonna be the workhorse in my wardrobe and they kind of are. Like I wear them with every, if I can't think of what shoes to wear with something, I put on my Ramones and it just pretty much ties everything off with a bow more often than not. And I went with the high option for that reason because I think it just lends itself well to go with a lot of different things. You can do skinny, you can do wide, you can do boot cut, you can do shorts, you can do pretty much anything with them styling wise that I think sometimes with the lows are a little bit more limiting. Like it just doesn't look as good with so many things to me like skinny jeans, for example. But just really had to have them just basic black with your milk kind of accents and milk sole. And I really love that license plate detail in the back just to give it something to differentiate it from all the other Ramones out there in the streets just to make mine look a little bit different. I know, like I gotta be an, uh, an original, right? <laughs> and what can I say about these that hasn't already been said? Everybody has Ramones. You can clown on me for having them, but I, I, I just think they're like, the perfect shoe and the perfect alternative to like a pair of Chuck Taylors because sometimes I find that the Chucks are a little bit too flat for my liking. So for styling, you can literally pair these with just about anything. In my video alone, you've already seen them with the Jack Kick Flare jeans from Hudson. You've also seen them with my black wool Dolce Gabbana trousers. So I thought for this time, I would pair them with some shorts. Actually, I got these shorts from PacSun for about $50. The material is not like the greatest material in the world, but I'm actually saving up to get a pair of Rick boxer shorts. So I thought these would fit the bill in between time. They're a little bit longer than I would like them to be. They're about a seven inch short. I prefer right around that five inch range or I prefer them to be like super long like the Bella trousers are. And just to tie things off with the bow. For these and also for the turbo weapons you had already seen in the video with other outfits, I'm only showing you the bottoms look here. I'm not showing you the full outfit, mostly because you've already kind of seen some styling for those. So you made it to the end. I did it. I completed another video. I've actually been recording this over the course of <laughs> several weeks because it just took me so much time working full time again and you know, getting in the groove and then editing. It's just like, wow, making videos is a lot of work. 
So with that said, I do want to try to produce content at least once a month. I want to do something fashion related. I already have an idea for my next video and I have an idea for a project that I want to do with the friend, kind of an interview series. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Please tell me what you thought about my selections down there in the comments. Tell me if I'm good, if I'm trash, you know, if you if you rocking with my with my with my looks, if you're not rocking with my looks, if you have any questions about the shoes, like let me know. But I definitely want to bring more fashion content more often. So be on the lookout for that. You can follow me on Instagram. My handle is at Crooked Mark. Hopefully I'll be able to get that on the screen somewhere. Bear with me. This is a whole new process for me. Uh, this is a whole new editing process for me. So I'm trying to make it like a little bit more entertaining for you. Uh, I'll get a little bit better on the mic. <laughs> I'll get a little bit better with my editing as we go on. Shout out to all my friends, man. Thank you all. And shout out to you for like sitting here for 20 minutes watching a video that I only intended to be like 15 minutes. And it's just stretched out way too long. But I appreciate you hanging out and kicking it with me. Oh, and, you know, I wore sunglasses the whole time because I'm trying to read a script. But I don't want you to see my eyes looking at it. But I'm going to go ahead and break down the fourth wall because you stay here for this long ass video about all this stuff that I bought. Like, who really cares? <laughs> but literally, thank you so much for hanging out. Check check me for my next video once a month. I want to upload them. We'll, we'll find a day that we want to upload. But I'm thinking maybe like fridays i'm going to try to shoot for like an upload for friday so you can watch it over the weekend um but anyway that's it that's me it's marcus crooked mark sad marcus out here in these streets you know what i'm saying click that like subscribe follow button you know what i'm saying kick it with your boy show your boy some love show your boy some love you know what i'm saying you feel me all right y'all peace